Otro video para ti hoy, este es Ron con Inacomputers.com. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my makeup today, and, well, my hair, I just, you know, my hair is such a mess, but I'm such a narcissist that I, you know, care what I look like, and I care what my hair looks like, but I don't make any quality content, and I don't actually teach you anything. I'm going to show you how to upload a video to Daily Motion, dailymotion.com. I've had a daily motion account, I would say, for about a year, but it hasn't been since the last few months that I've started uploading videos. The payouts are pennies on the dollar compared to YouTube. However, I think YouTube is, well, I've been making videos for YouTube since 2012, not just on my Anet Computers YouTube channel, and YouTube is a disaster, but I think it's all by design. It's They're intentionally destroying YouTube and so who knows how long it'll last which you can vent and complain 50% of the time but there are other platforms out there I use daily motion they allow you to put hyperlinks in the description box of the videos so let's carry on I have a blog post written that has all the details in the abstract if you prefer to learn via the abstract via text then I have a blog post where I went through and detailed everything showing you how to upload a video to dailymotion.com I assume for the very first time first you're gonna have to create a daily motion account so you're gonna have to go to dailymotion.com and sign up to get an account and once you get approved then you have to log into daily motion you'll be logged in you'll be taken to the home page but it's kind of uh, it's kind of confusing, but if you look next to the search box, to the right of the search box, you'll notice a generic avatar. You click on that, left click, and then you'll see Partner Headquarters, what, what, you know, Partner HQ. Click on Partner HQ, which will take you to your Partner Headquarters, which really is your video dashboard. And I already have some videos uploaded, so you, that's why you see some videos. I'm assuming this is the first time you've ever uploaded it to Daily Motion. This should be blank, but if you look on the left-hand side, you'll see your dashboard. It'll take you directly to videos. So for this tutorial, you don't need to worry about any of these other, you know, categories and areas of your headquarters. Then you're going to click on upload. Right here on the upper kind of left-hand side, there's a blue upload button. Just click on that it takes you to the upload page now you are allowed to drag and drop up to 10 video files so you are allowed and able to upload multiple videos at once I, th I think 10 would be the maximum I do not know how many videos you can upload per day I've read anywhere around 99 or something like that I just don't know I haven't tried it some days I upload five videos per day and I've never had a problem just uploading five videos per day also, you want to become aware of that there are two restrictions. Number one, the total file size cannot be greater than a gigabyte. So you are limited per video to one gigabyte. Number two, you are limited to 60 minutes. So your video cannot be any longer than 60 minutes. So just be aware of that. And you are no longer allowed. Well, I'm not allowed to. There could be some. I think it's discriminatory. I think there are some bigger channels on daily motion that are allowed to live stream but most of the rest of us have been dissuaded has not been allowed to live stream in months that was like six months ago anyways let's move on but i think daily motion the payouts aren't nearly in my niche i'm in the information technology niche which on youtube it's a higher paid niche I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the highest paying, but it's a higher paying niche. Daily Motion's payouts per 1,000 views is peanuts compared to YouTube. However, you can use it for marketing or you can use it to, to funnel traffic because they allow you to in, embed hyperlinks, you know, uniform resource locators, web links to your website as long as you don't spam or anything like that, you know, as long as you find, follow their guidelines. Now, there is a link on the lower left-hand corner, learn more about uploading. So if you need more details, click on that, and there will be more details. It'll 
go over the restrictions and blah 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 now so you could drag and drop or if you click on the lower right hand corner there's a selected video files button click on that this is what I prefer because I'd, I I'm behind but I just anyways I choose this usually and then it'll take you to an upload link so it will allow you to browse your hard drive or even a network drive and I'm assuming probably cloud storage if you had a one drive or a Dropbox I'm assuming you could browse and potentially upload from you know a, an account a cloud account but don't quote me on that you know what I'm saying as you can see I have these videos that I need to upload so I'm gonna choose one that is small for my demonstration and I will upload it because you know why not I'll kill multiple birds with one stone how about this one a Firefox update video so I'm gonna select that now here's the main interface when you upload a video it as soon as you click on a video it will start uploading it now I think the upload speed on daily motion it depends on during the what time of day it's it's similar speed to YouTube it might be a little bit slower but it's it's a you know close to the same or whatnot so you have to enter in a title if you notice if I take out the title it turns red so whatever is is highlighted is red please fill the mandatory fields there are two mandatory fields a title and a category so you are limited to it looks like is that 55 characters I think 55 characters in your title so I'll enter in a title and I'm gonna search engine optimize it while I'm here the video is almost done uploading sometimes during the day it's slower than other times but I would say daily motions platform is quite similar in speed to YouTube once in a while it's not perfect once in a while it errors out or it it doesn't work correctly but that's not that often and daily motion they have never pulled any of my videos although I I've had two videos pulled on YouTube because YouTube is fascist and I will make videos about malware bytes pulled one of my videos and I will be making a video in a couple of weeks about that and an, and somebody else flagged another video under the community guidelines so far daily motion if you look really quick I have a hundred and sixty five videos that's not that many but I have never had a problem nobody's flagged them none of them have been censored now I have read that that daily motion does censorship I'm not surprised in my opinion there are no real free platforms on the planet including top buzz there is no free speech in America so why would you think there would be free speech anywhere on this planet but so far daily motion I you know so far I've stayed out of trouble with regards to daily motion okay so let me finish up with my title okay it's SEO'd alright so you have to have a title now then I think it's up is it 255 I think it might be 255 or 55 it says right there but um it, it but whatever I it's it's it looks like there's a space between the 55 whatever so you can change the language I never do because it always defaults to English but if you are in a different country and I look at my YouTube analytics and most of actually most of my subscribers now are from other countries which is a good thing because I'm not a nationalist. I'm not a nationalist whore. You know what I'm saying? Nation states to me are ridiculous. But moving on. So if you're from another country, then yes, you. I don't know. Maybe it can detect it from via geolocation. I don't know. Mine always defaults to English. But if you need to change it, look at all these languages you can change to. So you know what I'm saying? Category is mandatory you want to choose the correct category because it helps people you know find your videos just like on YouTube I'm gonna choose tech and then there's an add to playlist I don't think that you can add playlists after the fact I think YouTube you can on daily motion you have to create your playlist first so 
just be aware of that before i would i would recommend although whatever you can do what you want i'm not the military i'm not the government i'm not your priest i'm not your parent i'm not your teacher i'm not the gestapo i'm not an authoritative person but you might want to create your playlist before you ever upload your first video you might want to think about what playlist you want because playlists on some platforms they might be search engine optimized and then also it helps it it helps your subscribers or on on daily motion they're called followers it helps your followers or those that watch your videos or it just helps when somebody watches your video and sees that oh wow Aaron makes technology videos or whatever he's an accountant or he's just a clown and you know he's a narcissist and oh wow how to become a narcissist oh he has a playlist oh I'm gonna watch all these videos I've always wanted to become a narcissist just like Aaron and so I, I have two playlists and then you just click on one and you see, you notice how there's a check check now as long as there's a check it works when I now daily motion I forgot to tell you this it's in my blog post daily motion changed their interface I would say about a month ago I like their newer interface because it requires less information and it it's I think it's quicker actually the the old one had three different tabs and th this one it to me is more concentrated there's only really two tabs and there's only a couple of mandatory fields now okay so as long as there's a checkbox you can click away it disappears but if you click again you notice that there's still the checkbox that confused me when they changed it because I, I was like well well it just disappeared are, are you sure it, you know I selected a playlist okay now there's under the visibility there's three options public means anybody can view it even somebody without a daily motion account anybody can view it your video private I think private it will not show up in a search but I think you I don't know for a fact but if it's similar to YouTube you could probably email somebody the hyperlink or you could give somebody the hyperlink to your video and they could still view it but but like on on Google search or even on the platform it it's private you can't see it the third option is password protected which is self-explanatory it's just like YouTube if you set a password you can still email the hyperlink to the video or send it to somebody over IM or SMS text but they have to enter in the correct password to view the video now a description you're limited to 3000 characters here's what I do I'll just I'll just freestyle this this is how I upload videos to daily motion I don't need my blog post I don't think because I think I went over everything and I don't know maybe I'll I'll leave that but let me think let me just open my main page again and then this is how I uh, prepare for my uploading so how to what was the blog post oh yeah how duh now what I do is I get the title normally I just copy and paste the title and so I don't you notice how I had to take out the dashes and all that and then I get the, the URL so let me get the URL daily motion allows you I don't know if if you're limited I don't know if you can post a thousand URLs or I don't know all I know is I've never had a problem so I enter in the URL to my blog post and it's not to me it's not spamming because it is content I wrote it myself I didn't plagiarize it plus I also get to funnel traffic to my website anacompears.com and if somebody is interested in reading my blog post then I have an entire blog post written with instructions walking them through the process of uploading a video to daily motion now another link I add recently that I changed is I link to my resources page on my website and then that's that now tags I no longer enter tags because I really don't know if they make a difference YouTube has a well it's by design to me it no I don't believe for a minute that a multi-billion dollar corporation like YouTube that is losing two billion dollars a year and has plenty of money well that tells me they have plenty of money if they're allowed to lose two billion dollars then it doesn't matter how much they spend I don't believe that those pro I don't believe that they're problems the YouTube platform is all by design 
they are intentionally creating their platform the way you see it now. One, one, how shall I word this? One scenario on YouTube now is tags. A lot of videos are being flagged as not suitable for most advertisers. And one part of YouTube is the tag. So I, on YouTube, I never enter tags anymore. Daily Motion, I think you had to enter to at least one tag. Their older interface that changed like a month ago, you had to, I think, enter at least one tag. Now, you don't have to enter a tag. You're allowed to enter up to 10 tags, not 10 characters, 10 different tags. So let's say, for example, I could, now back in the day, they used to pre-fill. You would start typing, and then it would, it would advise you. It would give you, you know, potential tags. Now, you just, you enter in something and it becomes a tag. So I could enter in Firefox and then hit enter and that's one tag. And if you notice now, one out of 10. So I'm allowed nine more tags, but I don't even know if tags really make that much of a difference. I don't know. I'm not worried about it for now. So I'm gonna delete the tag. Age restricted content, if you place a check box there, then younger viewers, I don't know what the age limit is, 18, I just don't know. Younger viewers will not be able to view that video. They have a community guidelines. I don't give a fuck about these platforms community guidelines because a lot of times, like on YouTube, they use it against you. I am in support of 100% free speech. I've had one problem with one video on Daily Motion. It was, I would say, a couple months ago. It, it was a video. I think it was a video about Firefox, just an update. And I try about a month before that, I tried to upload that same video, and it wouldn't go through. So I waited like a month, and I tried multiple times, and it would not upload. It gave me some weird error, like some blacklist error. It, it was a legit video. Daily Motion, so far, I cuss. The, the, the same videos I produce for youtube i upload to daily motion and i say the f word you know fuck bitch cunt whatever and i've never had a problem on daily motion so it wasn't that it just i don't know it could have been a glitch or something i could have probably ran that video through a editor and then reconverted it and or shortened it a little bit you know took out a couple of seconds it probably would have uploaded okay other than that, I've never had any problems uploading a video to Daily Motion except for that one. So I'd have to go back and reconvert that video. It doesn't. It's only one video, so I don't really care. And that those types of videos, I don't get that many views, so I'm not worried about it. Now you can you can go ahead and cl click Publish, or you can click on Advanced. Now I don't mess with any of these settings now. I want I don't you know I don't have that much time and I, I don't I'm not really worried about this but we can go through this there's a geo blocking feature you can click none it won't block anybody if you click on only in now if you choose any of these countries it will block those countries from being able to view anybody in those countries will not be able to view your video I don't know why you would do that maybe you're a nationalistic whore and you just oh my god if somebody from afghanistan views your video oh how dare you i don't care i don't give a fuck about nation states i don't mind if somebody from china or afghanistan or iraq or iran or you know qatar or i don't care why would it bother me but you have that option only in oh my bad that allows if if you choose if you add countries here it will only allow those countries to view it or if you click on only block in, then these countries would be the countries that are blocked. I don't need to worry about that crap. Now, would I? There, now, if you notice under the advanced tab is the monetization tab. It's always turned on. Just like with their older interface, it was always turned on in a separate tab. But so far, I've noticed that this this monetization tab. Now, that's another thing. You have uh, Daily Motion. They, I've been on Daily Motion for a year. I don't know about now, but back then, almost anybody would be included 
into monetization. I think you have to apply for it, but it's almost like it's almost like instantaneously. Most people get approved. I'm a, I think a robot approves it. I don't know about now, but so you're gonna have to monetize your channel first, which I'm not gonna go over. This video is only exclusively showing you how to upload a video to Daily Motion. That's I'm not gonna go through the rest of you know the of your headquarters. But you're gonna have to monetize your channel first. Then you should see this checkbox, and then with my settings on my account, I have day I have monetization enabled for all my videos so I never have to check this it's always checked there's a there's an option that allows you to always monetize a video and that's what I prefer but I'm just to show you this now and it, there's an embed code I did not include that in my blog post the embed code is an iframe eh, iframe isn't the best HTML but it you know it works in my opinion iframes aren't the best HTML it's better to you know, code it in PHP or whatever. And moving on. But what this gives you is the ability to copy this code and then paste it into your website. On WordPress, it's real easy. You just create a post or a page and then you would copy and paste this code. And then what it will do is it will embed the video in that page. So a person viewing that page would be able to, to play this video directly on your website. Anything else? Advanced feature video. If you click a check in this checkbox next to feature video, then on your video page, on your main page, if you notice, I don't have a feature video. I don't need one, but you could. Then on the on the home page, then there will be a feature video, which I think is normally at the top. So people will see that one first. You, maybe you could use it for your channel trailer or your channel message or your you know sales pitch or I don't know whatever I don't need to worry about that the record date you can change the date and put a record date I don't know why you would do that but I guess I don't know you could do that that'll just mark the date that the video was was recorded subtitles if you want subtitles you click on the add subtitles. I know I don't need to worry about that. On on YouTube, I don't like the subtitles because I think it might interfere with all of these videos that are getting flagged as not suitable for all advertisers. So you could choose the language that you want your subtitle in. I never worry about this, but there is an option for this. Let me cancel out of here. How, how do I cancel out of that? It won't let... Oh, there we go. Now, play next. What you could do is you could put in a URL, a link to another one of your daily motion videos. And then what happens is when somebody plays one of your videos and that video is completed, then it will automatically play this video that you, this next video. It will automatically play this video that you put in this box. That's it. I like the new upload interface for Daily Motion. It's a lot more compressed. It's only two tabs, and there's only two fields that are mandatory now. I'm not going to fuck with the advanced settings, but you can, obviously, if you want. I'm going to go back to basic. Now, to publish it, you want to wait until it says ready. Once it's, Now, another thing with Daily Motion, it's similar to YouTube. It can take a while for it to choose to create a thumbnail. Be aware of that. Now, Daily Motion, uh, I don't know. You now with Daily Motion, sometimes you can go back and re-edit your videos, and there's more fields, which is strange. It's similar to YouTube. YouTube, when you completed uploading a video and then you click publish, if you go back and edit the video again, there's actually more fields. There's there's it's more complex. You can go in and set cards and fuck with the subtitles and daily motion is similar on the main screen you cannot set a custom thumbnail it, so it's similar to YouTube where it goes through the entire video and then picks a thumbnail you I'm not I don't even know I don't know if you can create a custom thumbnail on daily motion I'm assuming you can but you would have to first publish the video and then go back and edit it again so then 
Once you see it's ready, you click on publish. It takes a few seconds for it to publish and eventually it will create a share link. This is the URL. This is the hyperlink, the hyper, well, the uniform resource locator for the video. So you can email that. You could put it in a tweet. You could put it in a Facebook post. I mean, the sky's the limit on WordPress. You could probably put that in a post and it would embed the video automatically because on because YouTube videos are automatically embedded with WordPress. Although you could also use the iframe option if you wanted. So once it set, then it, it says it's done and that's it. You don't you don't need to click publish again because you have the the link. Then what you'll notice is if you go back to the your library which that's my main page. Oh, if you go back to media and then click on videos, then you'll notice that the video is now listed and it's ready, it's public. It's on and then if you go to your your daily motion URL, mine is dailymotion.com slash ANET computers. So if you were to refresh this, that video should show up. There it is. It's the first one. I don't, I don't have a featured video. If I had a featured video, it would be listed right here. I don't I don't need a featured video, but you, you know, obviously you can create one. So, it's already available for view. And daily motion, anything. How about let me go over my I'm not going to read the blog post, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. I'm pretty sure I went over everything. Subtitles, blah, 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 blah. Geo blocking. Advanced. That's, that's basically it. It's really a pretty seamless, you know, operation. It's very similar to YouTube. It, to me, it's quite easy. Like I said, I only had one problem with one video. It was blacklisted for some reason. I don't know. Something in that video, Daily Motion didn't like. Other than that, I've uploaded 166 videos now. And I've only had one video that I could not upload. I've never been censored on Daily Motion, not yet. None of my fl videos have been flagged for community guidelines. None of them have been flagged for copyright. YouTube is different, YouTube is fascist. Daily Motion is from France. The owners live in France. I have read stories that there is some censorship on Daily Motion. I'm not surprised. But so far, me personally, I haven't had to deal with those problems yet. So maybe it's because I'm on Daily Motion, I'm a nobody just like on YouTube, which I prefer. You know what I'm saying? I only had 3.2 thousand views, 49 followers. But my point is that. I am getting views and I am getting followers and I am getting traffic from Daily Motion and to me their platform is pretty stable. V watching videos on Daily Motion is similar to YouTube. And so to me it's an alternative to YouTube or it's another platform that you can, you know, share your videos. Adios.